Whenever he can, wherever he is, the prince likes to paint. His watercolours, like his personal protection officers, are therefore always with him. On this occasion, he's in Wales, commissioned by the Royal Mail to paint some castles for a set of stamps to celebrate the investiture. He's got most, he's got most shadows on this side. This is a nice shape, I think. At least the sun is roughly in the right place. It'll just be annoying because this evening it'll be wonderful. Probably the light will be just right when I'm sitting in the concert at Munden. It is one way of, apart from you know, the enjoyment of it, it's one way of making a little money for, for my charity's trust and that's very... In fact, they actually make quite a lot fun enough. In fact, his watercolours now have some cachet, enough to raise over a million pounds for his charities. And if I had a bit more time, I might, I think, um, perhaps be a bit more... Um, bold, if you know what I mean. I'm not very adventurous when it comes to painting at the moment. But I, I come to that, I mean, with art, and so you've got to learn how to do the, the basics, and you've got to learn how to, to actually paint what's there before you can start thinking about painting what may be in your imagination, I mean, either thought. It's a good discipline, if nothing else. But the trouble is I stopped at school, you see. Did carpentry instead and then pottery like an idiot. And, um, and then I, I don't know what it was. I think I, I was desperate to try and find some other way of capturing the landscape and things that I liked. And with a camera, I did. I never found it satisfactory. I just you take a photograph. But to me, it didn't, it didn't have the same feel. You know? But I, I felt it here and wanted to express it on paper, but it's terribly difficult because you see it, and then you look at other people's wonderful watercolors like Turner or Copman and all these marvelous people. And you lot, I mean, a lot of kids like that, but of course you can't. But I have, I have got a bit better in the last 25, 30 years, I think, but I've been doing it a bit anyway, I think. When Prince Charles paints, he says that he enters another dimension. His passion for nature his sense of belonging to the natural world is an integral part of his spiritual identity. He believes in a divine order, but his faith is not conventional. In his search for God, he's explored other beliefs and has found in them the essential truths of his own religion. All the great prophets, all the great uh, thinkers, those who had achieved a, a, a far greater awareness of... of uh, the, the, the aspects of life which lie beneath the surface um, all share the same understanding of the universe or the nature of God or the purpose of our existence. And, and that's why I, I feel that it's so important to understand the, the common threads which link us all in one, I think, great and important tapestry. What was your earliest memory of classical music? Well, I suppose various people were playing, playing it around me. My grandmother used to play quite a bit of music, so I would hear something there. But I, I suspect the first time I really became aware of it was, was, um, was being taken by my grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, Covent Garden, age seven. I think it must have been in 1956, to, to see the Bolshoi Ballet perform and it was their first visit to the United Kingdom and I, and I, I shall never forget that incredible occasion. I was completely inspired by it, which is why it's so important, I think, for grandparents or other relations to take children at about the age of seven to experience some form of the arts in, in, in uh, performance. 